There's been a lot of talk lately in the news about pornography and its effect on our modern life. How would you say pornography might be detrimental to relationships today? Well, here I think there's very conflicting opinions, a very controversial subject. But what I can say from the standpoint of Tantra, as a Tantric teacher myself, that pornography definitely can have negative effects, but sometimes can be used wisely as well. I'm not saying, and it's very important, never to be categorically you know, eliminating or cancelling certain things. Everything comes for a reason. Pornography flourishes because there's a need there. The need is that many people want to be much more sexual, to have certain sexual opening, to see beautiful sexual uh, images. It could be very uplifting, actually, sometimes. But on the other hand, pornography, as we see it in modern times, can be also very damaging. How? First of all, and I've seen this with certain students of mine, that couples were complaining that because, the, let's say, the men, and sometimes it's the woman as well, but it seems that for men this is more of an issue, they get much hooked on pornography. Because actually it is very attractive when you think about it. By a press of a button today, going on the internet or using your tablet or whatever, you can have access to infinite amount of, of pornography, any kind, any brand, whatever you like. And that can bring a certain laziness, dependency, and closing up when it comes to the relationship. And for the fact that the men actually can learn to appreciate beauty. Beauty can be a little bit mysterious sometimes. It doesn't have to be splattered all over the screen, high definition, very explicit, which makes you kind of desensitized to sex. And then when your girlfriend, partner comes home and you want to be intimate with her, you want to share some love, it's not high definition necessarily that illusory thing you see on whatever TV or internet. And therefore you become kind of bored. You don't feel like you want to put much effort. You don't feel the excitement so much. And there, of course, comes another big subject in Tantra. And that is the fact that the sexual energy must be conserved must be channeled in the right way. Using pornography for a lot of guys costs them the fact that it makes the energy exploding. It makes the energy go out, lost somehow. It creates a kind of deflation. And then when again they come with their partner to the point where they want to share sexuality, which is so essential, it's the juice in many ways of the relationship, this beautiful passion and connection that people want to have, and suddenly the man is feeling deflated, kind of flat, because he was totally into pornography. And then the woman feels like, my God, I don't get what I want. The man feels also very disappointed. And it can lead to a vicious cycle where the relationship really doesn't go where it wants to go. People want to have magnificent connection, even if it's not a one-on-one -on -one relationship. Even if you just want to share love with a few people. Let's say you're single, you want to have fun. Your choice, fine. But you would like to experience it fully. You don't want to come to that point with a partner or partners, whichever it is. You, want to, you don't want to come to that point feeling deflated, feeling kind of like it's, it's boring for you because it's not the sparkling thing that you are used to on screen. It can, in many ways, diminish a lot exactly those ideals that Tantra tries to cultivate. That's why I would say it has to be approached cautiously. It has to be done in a very moderate way. And even when a person, a man or a woman, would like to use pornography, which in some cases I would say is wonderful, actually, because some people need to open up some more, need to you know, have a certain experience that pornography can offer, like opening some sexual blockages that some people have. It needs to be done in the right way, in very good measure, not to exaggerate. And then you can take what is good about it and use it uh, for your relationship, for your development, but not more than that. That would be my take on it.